Hello and welcome back to Complicated Relationships Reddit Stories. Hope you guys are safe and healthy. Now let's see what the story is about today. In today's story, OP says, I'm sitting out in front of my wife's AP's house to confront him. I'm confronting my wife's AP today. I caught them about three months ago. She apologized profusely and told me that she still wanted to be with me, wanted to save our marriage. We've been in couples and individual counseling. She's saying all the right things that she loves me and only me, wants to fix things and doesn't want a divorce, etc. She gave me access to her phone and told me that she doesn't want to catch me sneakily going through her phone. She swears up and down that she wanted to repair our broken trust, except she's still seen him. I found out and kept it to myself. I plan to serve her the divorce papers tomorrow, but first I'm going to confront AP to see what other lies that she has been telling me. I know they talked on the phone a dozen times since I found out. She swears that she hasn't been in contact with him, but the phone records don't lie. They text almost every day. She obviously deleting them from her phone because I haven't seen them there. But she doesn't know that deleting them on the phone doesn't delete them from her iPad. So at the moment, I'm sitting in a car outside his house waiting for him or his wife to leave for work. If he leaves, I'm going to follow him to where he works and confront him there. If she leaves first, then I'm going to go and knock on his door. After the meetup with AP, I got home, made dinner and sat down to eat. My wife asked me how my day was. I replied, uneventful. We had dinner, played with the kids and put them to bed like everything was normal. She and I sat in our bedroom to watch TV. A few hours later, she said she's going to sleep. I played video games for a couple of hours before I went to bed myself. Next morning, I woke up and left for work. The reason that I wanted to serve her today because we have a marriage counseling session over the lunch hour. I have already informed our therapist on what I intended to do. So when we sat down and started the session, I did not wait. I told her that I spoke to AP yesterday. She asked why. I said I needed answers to some of the questions that I had because you weren't being honest with me. He told me everything about what you guys have been doing, sneaking around, secret meetings, phone calls and everything. She looked shocked and asked me, uh, he told you? I said, yeah, everything. Then I went on to list out all the details like their texts, calls, meetings, dates, times, etc. She started to bawl. So it's clear to me that while you've been here telling me one thing, your actions tell me a completely different story. So, I am done. Then she asked me, what do you mean you're done? I handed her the documents and said that I want a divorce. She took the paperwork in her hands like it was a venomous snake. Then she looked at the therapist and asked, how do I fix this? I don't want a divorce. I want our life and I want to stay. Then the therapist said, do you see why he confronted AP? It's when your words and actions are telling conflicting stories. You always believe the actions and not your words. Then I said, your actions have told me all I need to know. How do we move forward from here without fighting, without dragging our children through the mud? The rest of the session was surprisingly cordial. There were a lot of tears on both sides. I expressed how betrayed and angry I am that she would continue the affair behind my back thinking of me as the lovable idiot who would never know. She cried because her entire life as she knows is ending. I told her I am stopping her money supply and that she can use half of what we have to hire a divorce attorney. I told her she cannot live in our home anymore. She will need to go and stay with family or friends. I told her that I was done and there's no chance for reconciliation. When we walked out of the appointment, she grabbed my hand and made another last effort to garner my forgiveness. I pulled my hand away and told her I did not want her in my life anymore. She fell to the ground, sobbing. I walked out the door and left her like that. As I drove away from the appointment, I called AP's wife and left a voicemail telling her that we need to talk ASAP. 
I then called my attorney and told her to file the paperwork but to hold on on the TRO unless things got ugly. My wife called and texted me several times. I let them go to voicemail and haven't listened to them yet. I drove to my wife's parents' house. The phone rang and it was AP's wife calling me back. He hasn't said anything to her. I told her I needed to meet her in person. She said yes and we set a place and time. I told her parents everything. Her mom started to bawl immediately. Her dad sat there stone-faced. I told them that I love her and tried to make it work, but I refused to sit there while she continued to go behind my back. They were totally shaken and it was hard to gauge their feelings. I told them that I wouldn't slander her or spread the truth around friends and family, but they needed to know the truth about why we are divorcing. I told them that I don't expect them to support me in all this and frankly I want them to support her because she's going to need it. This all go back to my kids. If she cannot afford a decent place to live, I don't want my kids living in squalor during the time they spent with her. Her parents can and will support her financially. I told them I loved them and that I would miss our relationship. Her dad and I shook hands and I hugged her mom before I left. So, that's been my day. I have to pick up my kids from school and change the locks on my house. I have a security system set up at home, so if something happens or she damages anything, it will be on video. End of part 1. We have the update coming up, but before that, if you're enjoying the story so far, please give a thumbs up. Thanks. And now, here is the update. I met AP's wife. I told her that it's not going to be easy to hear what I have to say. I'm sorry this is happening to you, to us. I told AP's wife that her husband and my wife have been having an affair. She started to sob immediately. I said I found out about 3 months ago and her head snapped. She had rage in her eyes. So, I had to explain to her how I found out, what I did when I confronted her, and how we were going through marriage counseling to save our marriage. She listened, nodding, until I got to the part where I told her that they are still seeing each other. Then she started crying again. She did nothing to deserve this. I'm not happy about telling her. She told me she was wondering why I called and she figured it was something bad about her husband. She had no idea that it was about a relationship her husband was having behind her back and that I caught them or that they had continued the relationship after being caught. Her entire world was crushed. I asked her if she wanted to see the video. I had to laugh actually. She thought I had a video of the two of them in the act and at first was disgusted that I would even offer to show that to her. I said no and told her that I confronted him yesterday and I have a video of our conversation. She thought about it for a moment and said that she want to see it. In that he apologizes to me, tells me that he's messed up and shares a few more details about their ongoing relationship. She started crying again. She thanked me for opening her eyes. I told her I knew exactly how she felt because I was feeling the same thing about 3 months ago when I found out. I told her if she needed to talk, I would be there for her. She thanked me, we hugged and left it at that. I'm sure it won't be good news for AP. I truly feel sad for her and for her children. My phone had been blowing up with calls from my wife. When I got home, she was sitting in the driveway. When she saw my car, she started screaming, "You told my parents?" I started recording on my phone and put it in the front pocket of my shirt so I could get it all on video. I got out of the car and said, "Yes, I did. They deserve to know about the truth why we are divorcing." I did not lie or make anything up. I told them the truth and I told them that they should love and support you through all of this. She went from rage to being a bawling mess in seconds. She kept apologizing, asking what she could do to fix things. I responded, "I told you everything I had to say at the therapist today. I have nothing more to say about this. You're welcome to pack a few things, but you cannot stay here tonight." She started sobbing again. My heart broke for her in that moment. I saw the woman I loved and pledged to spend my life with, lost and hopeless. 
I hugged her and told her that I'm sorry that this was happening but that this was the result of her decisions and I would no longer stand by and be married to a woman who would treat me like this. We stood there and embraced for a long time, her crying into my shoulder in the driveway. Finally, she pulled away and tried to kiss me. I pulled back and said, that's not going to happen. She broke down again and I turned and walked into the house. After a few minutes, I heard her coming into the house. She quietly went into the bedroom and I could hear her packing a bag. I was in the kitchen and she found me there with her suitcase packed. She said, I hope you're happy. I responded, I'm not happy at all. I did not want this. I wanted you. I wanted us. I wanted a wife who loves me and treat me with kindness. And instead, I got this. So, no, I'm not happy at all. She screamed at me. Then why are you doing this? Why are you throwing away everything we have? I said, I'm not. You threw away everything when you went back to AP. Now, I'm just cleaning up the pieces. When she realized that I'm not going to engage with her, she left, slamming the door so hard it knocked a picture frame off the wall. I heard her screech out of the driveway. I replayed the video her screaming at me. If things get bad, I have enough video evidence to keep myself protected. I picked up the kids from school and brought them home. I told them mom is going to stay with grandparents for a few days. Kids were sad but did not ask any questions. I haven't heard from soon-to-be ex-wife, AP or AP's wife in several hours. The house is going to be very quiet once my kids go to bed. Frankly, I may sit here and pour myself a few drinks before bed. Thank you all so very much for listening. End of the story. Please like, comment and share the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload the next video. Take care.